Hey guys, welcome back to Snapdudes. Today we'll learn how to create this quick loading animation in After Effects. So let's start with the tutorial. Okay, so I have After Effects opened. Uh, I'll create a new composition right from here. Click on this button and uh, then uh, I'll set the width to 500 and height to 500 and press OK. Right, and then I'll right click uh, over here and uh, click on new and then solid. Uh, I'll select some random, random color so in this case I'll select this blue and press OK so this will fill this uh, artboard with the blue color and then I'll uh, click on this uh, area over here which locks the layer so now I can't move it right uh, so the next step is to select the pen tool out from the top so or you can press G on the keyboard uh, so click here and then click on the artboard and also press shift and click anywhere at the top right so this will create a straight line so uh, in this case I'll set the fill uh, uh, I'll click on this and set the fill to nothing and click on OK and then I'll set the stroke value to say 20 right so as you can see uh, if your stroke is not visible then it may be uh, 0 pixels here I'll set this stroke width to 20 but you can set any value and then I'll click on this arrow and then uh, I'll click on the contents of the shape and then I'll click on the stroke and then I'll select the cap so in th this case the line cap says butt cap but I can change it to round cap so that will it will add like semicircles at the top at the bottom right so the next step we need to do is I'll click on add and then I'll click on trim patch so this will add another parameter over here that says trim patch right and then I'll expand it by clicking on this icon and uh, then I'll add keyframes so you can add keyframes uh, like two keyframes on the start and at the end and then I'll press U on the keyboard with by doing so only the start and the end keyframes will be visible so now as you can see the keyframes are added here so what I'll do is I'll change this value from 100 to say 0.5 so this will make a circle at the bottom right then I'll go to say frame 20 and then I'll increase this value to 100 right and uh, I'll then shift uh, by say like a couple more frames and then I'll add the start value to be say 99.5 right so if I show you the animation here it will look like this right okay uh, and then I can press F uh, I can select all this by dragging my mouse like this and press F9 on the keyboard it will easy is the uh, <coughs> the keyframes and then I can click over here that says con graph editor and then what I'll do is I'll drag my mouse like this and select both the uh, keyframes and then press shift and then drag them to the right like this same thing I will do with the right side so select this press shift on the keyboard and drag them to the left so that will what will happen is the speed will slowly increase and then at the during the end it will decrease right so if I play the animation now it looks like this okay so now what we need to do is uh, we'll go again by say 20 frames more and now we need to bring the same uh, line to its original position so what I'll do is I'll just select these uh, two keyframes uh, press ctrl C or command C on Mac and then go to a particular keyframe and then ctrl V so that way what will happen is uh, it the same line will go back to its original position we will have to like uh, change the end keyframe so that it looks something like this so it's it looks like the line line is getting tracked right so now what we can also do is uh, as you can see over here the line goes up and immediately comes down so what we need to do is we can add a little delay so 
we can copy these keyframes right and uh, say go over here and then paste right so that way what will happen this position will be fixed for few uh, few seconds right so if I press space now as you can see it goes up and then goes down uh, to rearrange that what we can do is we can slightly decrease uh, like select all these keyframes frames and slightly decrease the uh, the delay so now it looks like this right so now we have to fix the fix the the letter part so again we have to we can do the same thing uh, select these keyframes uh, press shift and drag it to the right and then drag your mouse like this select these two keyframes and hold shift and drag it to the left that way a similar kind of animation which we did previously will be repeated over here too so now if I press N so it ends the animation over here so if I press play now it goes it comes back it goes and it comes back right so now what we can do is uh, we'll just copy and paste the same animation that we did so we can select the shape layer press C and control V uh, to copy the layer right and now we have we can move it uh, slightly to the right so by pressing P on the <coughs> keyboard it will open the position property so this is the X value and this is the Y value so X now it says 250 we can make it 300 so it shifts the uh, the line by uh, 50 pixels right so now if you see uh, they are going at the same time so we'll add a little delay so for the delay all you need to do is press U while opening the top layer and then just select all the keyframes and move them slightly like this so that way we have a slight delay right so same thing we'll do it for two more times Uh, okay, so I'm done with this if I play this animation it looks like this right so we've created this quick animation in After Effects So the next thing we can do is we can select all these by pressing shift right click and then pre-compose So if I click on pre-compose and say let's call it loading animation right and now what I can do is I can select the mouse and then I can maybe center line this uh, to the artboard like this so yeah that's it for this one guys uh, in the next video I'll teach how to convert this after effects animation into a gif animation using Photoshop see you in the next one bye bye